Good morning, and welcome to DIY with a Car Guy, the channel where I, Aaron, take on things that are way above my skill or knowledge level and try to succeed. <laughs> Just kidding, uh, but it really felt apropos uh, for the moment because, well, obviously this house is uh, outside of my skill level, outside of my comfort zone, and outside of what I know. Uh, so, I don't know, DIY with a Car Guy, what do you guys think? But anyways, hey, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for coming back. Uh, had a little issues uh, uploading yesterday's video, so sorry it was late. Um, the video was done, but uploads were hard. Uh, so today, I've been running behind. I uh, haven't really got as much done as I want to, helping friends, getting things done with that. Uh, so today, I'm going to try and get all this trim out. I've got to figure out what to do with this fireplace. Um... You know, whether how we're going to save that, pull those outlets, and just kind of see. I don't know how easy those are going to come off, but I'm going to figure it out. Hey, so what do you guys think about that fireside chat, right? Sitting on the toilet chat, and I thought it was kind of good. Um, fun times. But we'll be able to do that because this baby's coming out, so we have a place to put some furniture. Uh, so anyways, that's kind of the plan. Rip out this molding so that I can start dropping this plaster. Now... Moving on over here, we kind of have an idea. I think what we're gonna do in this space over here, when we get ready to pull the, uh, the lat from the ceiling, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna dexter out these rooms, or at least dexter out these walls, cover them in plastic so that that nasty stuff doesn't end up down there. Cause that, mm, that would be no good. It'd be really, really, really irritating because it is terrible to clean up. So run some plastic right here along this wall and then run some plastic along uh, that wall right there. And then just drop all of the lat at once and try and pick it up as we go and then come back through and just vacuum it up and shove it down into the truck. But we really got to get all the debris off the floor before we can do that because we don't want to hurt our awesome dust extractor. very very happy i was really worried i was gonna break it because i might try to save it and now that it's that flat maybe i can save it and put it on one of these flatter walls and put like a gas fireplace or, or one of those real thin ones um inside of it and then maintain that i think that would be pretty neat um so this is just uh porcelain tile it's just i was just messing with it and of course now i can't get it off Alright, well, there we go, I got it off. Um, but it says, eh, gross. Um, patent C pip back. Patent grip back, AFT something or other. So, definitely not original to the house. Um, if I was to throw a swag out there, swag. Scientific wild ass guess. If I was to throw a swag out there, then I would say this is probably 70s ish era, maybe a little earlier than that. Um, A E T C O, so Aitco, Atco. Um, if you know anything about this, throw it out in the comments below. Uh, it says Patent Grip Back Atco. Uh, if you're enjoying this and you like my fireside chats, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. If you don't like these, just give me a double thumbs down and really, really show me the business. Um, but super interesting here. Uh, what I'm curious about is when I get up in here and I get to check these. 
Here, let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, these these guys, uh, right right here. Uh, currently, I can see my chimney here, um, but uh, there's no way that's that's deep enough behind there to support those outlets. So I'm kind of curious what's going on with the chimney on the other side. Um, we'll see, probably tomorrow um, or the next day. So, but yeah, super happy I did not break my lead glass windows. Um, so the overall plan for the lead glass windows is to get them repaired and then the guy that's gonna repair them is gonna sandwich them in between uh, some, some modern stuff so that I have my original stuff in the middle and then I can get the energy efficiency of a modern window, right? So original, two modern windows, sandwich it together, voila, old school, new school, all the schools. So that was probably not the best way to do that. Uh, almost dropped the trim on my head several times, had to duck out of the way. The really sad part is our friend over here, oh, Mr. Potty Mouth, I cracked him. Oh, that's sad. So I gotta find him a, a new lid. So maybe there's some surgery in the future. Hey, so I was pulling out the trim uh, over here. Check this out. Doo -doo -doo. Yum. That is some sweet, sweet carpet. I don't know why, but they had carpet over hardwood floors and then decided they didn't like it and took it up. So, always find it something interesting in this house. Okay, so this is just a piece of plywood, simple construction cabinet, but I don't think we want to destroy it because even though it's probably not going back into the house here, it would probably make a really nice or a pretty cool like shop cabinet in the garage or something like that, or maybe even like the basement in the storage area or something like that. So let's see if we can get it out in one piece. So the other side I can see the plaster wall. So this is still attached to a plaster wall. Uh, this room was done later. And we know that because this plaster is different from the rest of the house. Uh, it's just really weird to try and figure out when. Um, because it's plaster over nominal 2x4s. And if my research was right, nominal 2x4s became a thing in 64, which is those 2x4s that aren't actual 2x4s. So why you would put plaster in like the 60s over this, unless it was a thing sooner than that, but unless, I mean, I guess if you really wanted to, to do that, but I figured they would just use drywall. camera over here so up here yeah you can see it right like in there uh, I just brought the Latin plaster with it with it and that was kind of the pain in the butt so I don't know for sure it's gonna come out as one piece but uh, it's looking a lot more hopeful every time Because it's it's acting like uh, like a hinge for like a secret room. What if we put a secret like bookcase door somewhere in the house? New floor plan idea. All right, but come with me. Check this out. Okay, right. so right in here is the same thing. It's that caulk, and that caulk is currently strong enough right in here that it's literally holding the cabinet to the wall. And so it's making it so that I can just, look at this, one finger, float it. That's some strong cock. Crazy, right? Oh man, I want a secret cabinet door now. <sighs> All right, but unfortunately, Cabinet, you gotta come out. Isn't that pretty? That was in the bathroom we moved in. 
kind of think it's cool. This plaster used to have glue on it. Which means this plaster used, this room used to have uh, wallpaper. Interesting. Save the cabinet. Now he's got to take the cabinet out that door. I may not have thought this through. This isn't going to work. Maybe if I flip it down and put it outside, but I'm the only one here, so yeah, that's not going to happen today. All right, so uh, yeah, check it out. There we go. No more trim in this room. Was able to save that cabinet like you saw. That was super amazing. Uh, I'm not looking where I'm going, so I'm kind of tripping over everything. Anyways, oh man, I got one more piece of trim right above this door. I'm gonna yank that out. I wonder if I can do it on camera with one hand. I don't know, let's see. Let's see, we just gotta... I'm gonna take this guy and just uh, uh, slide it out. There we go. Come on. There it is. All right. So that's it. Come on, baby. So, ta da. All right, got that final piece out. So that means that tomorrow I should be able to scrape this room of plaster relatively quickly. I gotta clean all this stuff up and get it out of here. Unfortunately, yeah. Mr. Potty Mouse, got a crack noggin, so that's unfortunate. Uh, also gonna try to put up the uh, plastic tomorrow and uh, whatnot, so we can dexter out that room to keep everything from, uh, well, falling down there. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I really appreciate everybody watching. If you're liking these, hit the subscribe button. Um, I really appreciate it. It's pretty cool. I'm enjoying everyone watching me go through this because I am learning a lot. And like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, I, I don't honestly know how to do all this stuff. So I'm really relying a lot on friends, YouTube videos, and then other experts that I'm calling or asking questions of um, in other places. So with that being said, you can do this too. Uh, it's not that bad. I mean, check it out. I was able to save. Here we go. Let's get that looking up. There we go. I was able to save this cabinet, which is pretty cool. How do I get through this door? I, I'm not entirely certain. I'm trying to figure this room out because it's weird. Uh, it's got like three different types of wiring in it and it's got plaster, but nominal two by fours, uh, which is just odd. So if you've got any insight on that, like post in the comments below, send me a message, whatever. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, so basically this was my night. Uh, it didn't take me it took me a little bit of time, right? Because I wanted to do it as easy as possible so I could save as much of it as I can if I wanted to use it. Uh, so I'm uh, excited that I was actually able to get the fireplace off, uh, man everything off one piece. That's pretty cool because hopefully we'll be able to reuse that piece somewhere because it is kind of cool looking. I don't know why it was put in, but, but I like it. I imagine it's probably manufactured like that and it's pretty easy to put on, but... I still like it. Anyways, I appreciate all of you, and I will see you all tomorrow. At least I was able to save the cabinet. See you tomorrow.